This week on Sternthology, we're going to be celebrating Mund Madness. We're calling it Mund Madness. Uh, as you know, Ronnie, the smallest thing can make you explode. One of our angry Ronnie experts is Mike Perlman. Producer Mike Perlman has some rules on how to avoid making Ronnie angry. So I put together, you know, a few rules to abide by because uh, you don't want Ronnie flying off the handle anymore. You know, you're over 70 years old. I don't want anything happening to you. Then that's the thing. So, you know, I'll start with a couple of rules. Rule number yeah. one, never call Ronnie ugly. I don't know if you remember the ugly meter incident. Ten years ago this month, a young guy, software developer, came into the studio. He was promoting this app. And what the app did was it measured how ugly you are. Ronnie scored a zero. He took it to heart, and he went right off on the guy. Never call Ronnie You're ugly. You're supposed to be here promoting your app. No, Don't I'm not. I'm here to see you. Get on my I'm fucking case you, calling me fucking ugly. Ronnie. Because I will throw your ass out of Ronnie, here. It's si all right? First of all, Ronnie. You're a fucking douchebag. Ronnie, it's science You're a calling stupid you ugly. It's not me. fucking douchebag, okay? You Ronnie. happy now? But it's not this guy's fault. You're a zero. You t I got a 34. That's nothing to be proud of. Yeah, okay. And he takes pictures of, of Sal's cock and balls, and he gets a two. Give me a fucking <laughs> break, you <laughs> asswipe. <laughs> he got really mad that day, right, Mike? Yeah, I remember he ran into the studio. He got in the guy's <laughs> face. The guy was sitting on the couch, and he, you know, you know, Ronnie's the guy that's doing security. I mean, I guess that's what the, you know, the serious security guys were up there for. They were there to do the real security because Ronnie was just, you know, he's so easy to fly off the handle, as I said. Oh, you're so funny. You're he, such a funny dude. I mean, dude. You, <laughs> you're the guy that's supposed to keep everybody calm. You run into <laughs> you're such a funny dude. What's rule number two? Okay, rule number two is never question Ronnie's body image. You know, he's very sensitive about his looks. Back in 2018, we realized that the press photo he's been using had his face photoshopped onto the uh, body of Dean Kane, who Wait was a minute. the guy who played Let Superman. Him stop right there. That <laughs> was did. not my press photo. <laughs> It was a press photo. I it remember using, it. No, it wasn't. Were, you, a press it was in the we're newspaper. Using it for something. Yeah. For appearances. I go, Ronnie, that's not your body. He goes, What are you talking about? He started fighting with me. I remember. Right. right. You got the same exact red mark on your chest as Dean Kane. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have no clue. It was fucking Dean Kane. Your head, you know, I was just thinking Dude, of something. Come on, Dude. stop breaking my balls Dude. because I had no clue about it. How do you not know your own body? <laughs> I, I didn't study it that closely that it's Dean Kane. I'm you very are close. so full of crap. Come on, your neck is twice the size. <laughs> that's my face. That's I don't have I to. That's all I looked at. Ron, you didn't know you weren't that Jack. Dude, I wasn't looking at it that closely. I looked oh, at my bullshit. face, and that was me. Dude, he the, loved you that can't, picture. I wasn't. You it wasn't a picture of me in a, without a shirt on. If no, I, it was you a had picture of me without a shirt on, I would have known. Had to, you had a magnificent body in that picture. I mean, your arms How were rippling. How come everybody muscular. else who looked at it knew it wasn't your body? Because they fucking studied it. I didn't. Nobody studied. It was really obvious. Yeah. Okay, Robin. Rule number three. Don't question Ronnie's choice of breakfast cereals. For the last year, Ronnie's been at war with his caller apples. Ronnie's fiance Stephanie posted a picture to Instagram that had the cereal Lucky Charms attached to it. Oh, and Apple's Jesus called Christ. to ask Ronnie if he eats these sugary cereals, and Ronnie, you know, immediately he lost it. Apples. Hey, what kind of Stephen fucking Thierry name is that? Use your I real fucking song. name, Apples. What Google the fuck apples. kind of name is you that? Apples. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares if Stephanie eats uh, Lucky Charms? That's Since why Stephanie he called, though. Don't you get it? That's why he called. Stephanie puts this shit up on fucking Instagram. <laughs> I knew somebody was going to fucking do it. I said, some moron is going to call into this fucking show and ask. Probably apples. Oh, does Stephanie eat fucking Lucky Charms? Why would he fucking call? <laughs> why would he fucking call? Ronnie. Exactly. You realize now how silly you sound. I mean, you're no, carrying not on. at all. You think, you think that's all. normal? Who cares? Let him go fuck himself. He's a you fucking You get too moron. amped up. You really got to walk on eggshells with him. Uh, rule number four, never put Ronnie in charge of food. You know, it always <laughs> comes back to food, you know. Um, there were cookies delivered to our office. Jason called Ronnie out for divvying up the cookies onto the plates before anyone could get to the table. He Jason, put me Jason, right over the top yesterday. Jason, over fucking hate. black and white cookies. Well, let me that understand. stupid motherfucker. Let me understand. I'm trying to be a nice fucking guy. And fucking Jason can shove him up his ass. He can have them all. Okay. How come you? Uh, all right. How come when a Forget guy? about it. How come when a guy? Take whatever you want from me. <laughs> how come? Don't even fucking look at me, you. Don't even fucking look Jason. at me. Why did you divvy up the cookies, Ron? There was so much shit there. So many cupcakes. 
that there was no reason to let them get thrown away at the end of the day. So sometimes I would bring them out to the people outside so they can enjoy them. What's the big fucking deal? Ronnie was like the mayor of the cookies. So- Why did that bother you so much? I don't <laughs> because- understand. Ronnie would take it upon himself to put these plates together, and he'd walk around serious. Oh, here's one for the uh, the receptionist. Uh, he was a special delivery to the 37th floor. Oh, here's the special guest. Like, dude. Mike, when Ronnie was pre- taking these cupcakes and delivering them, was it mostly to hot girls? Yeah, there, was always be, there, would, oh, there would always be dude, like a cute dude, girl out, uh, you know, lie. out in the lobby. Don't you know. fucking lie. He'd bring him out there. You know, you need any yeah, cookies be, or anything? Yeah, man, I'm Sit trying to be the cool, front man. Desk. I'll, bring, I'll bring him out there. Yeah, I'm trying to be cool. Yeah, I'll talk like Ryan. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the fucking, I'm the, t- I'm the tough guy. Yeah, 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 just bring him out there. Yeah. And to get well, back bring to him Ronnie, out there. To get back to Ronnie's anger, like, I, you know, as we as were saying, like, I've never heard a guy get so angry about this nonsense. If Cookie's going to set you off like that, there's got to be uh, something if like... If Cookie's going to set you off like that, then I mean, yeah, I don't you got to explode. I don't know like what something the hell that's I would, real. I don't know how, what the hell I would do, man. Jason, I might, let, just I so I understand. Fucking, I might yeah. lose my fucking mind because i got to so bring, bring out cookies to the hot chicks. Yeah, uh, Ronnie's losing his mind over here. I'm is. not losing my mind. I, I'm just imitating a moron over here who's trying to make something <laughs> out of nothing. Honey, I didn't know you did impressions. You're fabulous. Yes, I do. But I do stop showing off. So Mike, Mike Perlman. Yeah, I'm the man. Yeah. You want to see no, my what? scar? Yeah, look at my scar, man. I got shot. Look at me. This is the All shit right, the Oscars look. cuts away from. It's amazing to me that Ronnie is still angry about oh, all these things that happened years ago. All right, what is the fifth rule? Rule number five, never mess with Ronnie's food. Yes, Um, Mike, take your own advice. All right. In 2019, Ronnie claimed that he set aside a bagel to eat later during one of our Bagel Wednesdays. Right. He insisted that he had wrapped it in a paper towel. I know. When he left the green room, he came back to find it wrapped differently than he remembered. He was convinced that I did something to his bagel. Here we go. Somebody unwrap my fucking bagel. You know what it is? It's you. I know it's you. By you the way. You fucking did it with the bagel. One Nobody of the... will fucking tell me any different. What is the bagel sitting on? There was one little napkin sitting on top Ronnie. of it. Ronnie. Nobody's, no. Dude, if Ronnie. somebody fuck with your food, you'd what? be out of your fucking That's, mind. Oh, I'd be living. Fuck with my head and I will be irrational. Uh, what's the, the joke if someone messes with your the, bagel? This is the fucking joke. The I mean, fucking round my motherfucking it? ass up. <laughs> this is the fucking joke. All week on Howard 101. Sternthology will be celebrating Monday. You stay the fuck away from me. Yeah. I'm not yelling. I'm always yelling. Let's hear it. Oh. He's mad. Go fuck yourselves. So damn mad. Shut up and let me talk. Yeah, Ronnie's mad. Go away. He's so goddamn mad. Fuck you. Yeah.